Hello. Our devotion talks about you are someone special. You are someone special. Many of us cannot comprehend or begin to fathom just how special we are to God and the authority that God has given us. Before the birth and ministry of Jesus, God the Father would speak through the prophets of the things that were to take place. Many times they were a foreshadow of how the Messiah, Jesus, was going to come into this world. The prophets spoke about Jesus' birth, how the Messiah was going to save humankind from their sins, and how Jesus was going to fulfill the Old Testament and create a new testament, fulfill the Old Covenant, create a new covenant. Jesus is the Word of God made flesh. Jesus always was. He was in the beginning with God and was nothing made without him. Our particular lesson this morning for devotion comes from Hebrews, the fifth chapter, 6 through the 11th verse, and it says, But someone has testified somewhere what are human beings that you are mindful of them or mortals that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels. You have crowned them with glory and honor, subjecting all things under their feet. Now in subjecting all things to them, God left nothing outside their control. As it is, we do not yet see everything in subjection to them, but we do see Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death. So by grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the pioneer of our salvation perfect through suffering. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one Father. This is the reason Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters. We have one Father. We are the brothers and sisters of Christ. We are brothers and sisters to one another. We are the children of the Most High God. Jesus always was. In the beginning, as John tells us, he was called the Word of God. When Jesus became flesh, he became the Son of God, our Savior, our Messiah. Jesus was not an afterthought. We were not an afterthought. We were always in the plan of God. God may have used a certain group of people in order to bring the plan to fruition, but it doesn't mean that God did not know that we as Gentiles, as humankind, was always going to be in the salvation plan. It is believed that the Apostle Paul wrote the book of Hebrews, although the author does not identify himself. Hebrews speaks a lot about faith. Faith increases our confidence about who we are in God and having the confidence to know that God will bless us. We may not always see it or manifest it as soon as we think it should be, but believe us, our faith tells us that God hears and answers our prayer. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to reestablish relationship with him and God. But God wanted also to give us authority over every creation on earth. God loves us just that much. We are someone special. Although we talk about God's love for humankind in general, God knows each of us by name, and God is so personal with us that he knows how many hairs that are on our head. We don't even know that about ourselves. But that example shows just how personal, how closely God is, and how much he knows about us. God's our creator. That is how personal our God is. 
Why are we so special that God would be so mindful of us? Crown us with glory and honor. Subject all things under our feet. Because God loves us just that much. And when we're not feeling love and respect from others, remember our true creator has a greater love for us so deep and so strong that no one's love ever on earth could even compare. Remember, uh, we may have been carried in our mother's womb, but it is God who created us. That womb was just a, a vehicle, a, a an area in which God created us so wondrously and so fearfully. That's all. It's God who created and knit us together in our womb, in, in, in our mother's womb. God is God's love is just that great, that intricate, and that specific. God was very involved in every detail of our creation. He is just that specific. He created me different from you, from different from someone else. We are just that special. And because Jesus came in the flesh, he too was ordained and made lower than the angels like humankind and crowned with glory and honor because of his suffering to death. So that the grace of God keeps us from tasting the horrors of death. Moreover, because of the sacrifices of Jesus, we are sanctified and adopted into the heavenly family as brothers and sisters and established as the children of the Most High God. We are, you are, someone special to God and to those who love God. And never, ever forget that. Never forget that. I don't care if you don't think you've got enough money or not too thin or don't live in a certain zip code. It has nothing to do with that. You are wondrously, fearfully made, and you have authority on this earth as a child of God. You are someone special. It is not what people may say or think about us. People don't even know their own selves. It is what our creator, our manufacturer, when we want to know something about a product, we looked at the manufacturer's manual. Well, that's what the Bible is. That's what God tells us. We are wondrously and fearfully specific, intricate, and very loved. We are wondrously made by God who created us. God who made us and know that you are, we are, someone special. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, I ask that those that are under the sound of my voice know that they are someone special. That it's not what society says about them or trying to prove that they are very special or someone, but it's what you say. You are creator. Oh God, get it in our hearts, mind, body, and spirit that you have wondrously and fearfully made each one of us specific to your creation, to your liking. And we are someone special. Know that we are loved, that we are part of the Heavenly Father, that we are brothers and sisters in Christ, and that you are our creator, you are our Father, and that you love us despite what we may witness on earth. Your love is greater than any love that we could ever comprehend. Let us get that in our spirits, O oh God. And let us know that we are someone special because we are your children. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, it is our creator that determines how and what we are worth. And God says that we're worth so much that he sent his only begotten son to die for us so that he could reestablish relationship with us because we are just that special.